Amen. We would like to take our testimonies now. We will be starting with the online testimonies, and thereafter we'll take live testimonies. From the online testimonies, the first testimony is coming from Sister Joy from Germany. She got married in year 2018 and was waiting on God for the fruit of the womb. She was diagnosed with chronic endometriosis and doctors said it would be very difficult for her to get pregnant. She joined the November 2021 Holy Ghost service online themed the appointed time praying and believing God that it was our appointed time. And God answered. During a medical checkup, when she got pregnant, the doctors didn't see any traces of endometriosis. Nine months after, God blessed her with a baby boy. And to the glory of God, one year after she had the first child, God gave her another baby, a baby girl. Let somebody shout hallelujah. The second testimony is from Sister Mary Abiodu from the United Kingdom. She also had been trusting God for the fruits of the womb after getting married. She joined the Thanksgiving service where Daddy Gio preached a sermon titled, Freedom Indeed. She asked God to free her from every form of barrenness. And God gave her the fruit of the womb. God did it. Today, the Lord has blessed our family with a baby. Praise the Lord. Our third testifier is Brother Oladeji Oluwatoye from United Kingdom. He joined the 2024 Canada Convention, thrusting God for healing. And God healed him during the Holy Communion service. And every other settlement he was also trusting God for was done without stress. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Our fourth testifier, Sister Bukola Olayinka from the United States of America. She had been experiencing stagnation in her career for about 15 years. Our family attended the March 2023 Special Holy Ghost Service. During the service, Daddy Gio gave a word of prophecy that the one who will help you will come to you. January 2024, God sent her help. At the February 2024 Holy Ghost Service, another prophecy came that there is someone here who is saying, when will I share my testimony? And God said, next month. Within a few days, one of the biggest hospitals in our city employed her without any stress and with a fantastic salary. Let somebody shout another hallelujah. Our fifth testimony is from Sister Olusheyi Adeyonju from Nigeria. In 2022, she fell ill, losing a lot of weight. In year 2023, after several medical tests, a large tumor was found in her colon, which was cancerous. She was diagnosed with colon cancer and scheduled for surgery to remove the tumor. She attended the June 2023 Holy Ghost service, praying and asking God for his intervention and mercies. All the surgeries were carried out successfully to the glory of God. Even though she was scheduled for chemotherapy, but she cried to God and said she didn't want to go through chemotherapy. And she took the Holy Communion with her medications and miraculously, God healed her. During her post-surgery scans, all traces of cancer cells were gone. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Hallelujah. We would like to now listen to the live testifiers. My name is Olushe Ibrakari. I am from Lagos Prophet 96. We, we got married 2008, May 24. And ever since then, we have been waiting upon the Lord. We attended several programs, especially the Shiloh program. 2022, 2022 during, during the perfect Jubilee confession, God told our daddy in the Lord that the confession is 70 years, and he has, it has been 40 years he has been staying on the confession ground. That makes it 110,000, 110 years. And God promised him 110,000 children. Then I prayed to God that God, please answer me. 
give me a baby from this 110,000. And God answered. When I died in the Lord mounted the podium, he said, God told him that somebody is here, what has not allowed you to conceive, will die by October. So that October throughout, I was sick. I was in General Hospital, Igondo. I was diagnosed with interception. I undergone major surgery. And during the major surgery, after the major surgery, I was diagnosed with cancer. That they saw cancerous cell in me. And I told God, God, you didn't say I would die. You said you will answer me. That what not allow me to conceive will be removed. After two weeks of the surgery, I conceived. And when I went back, when I went back for mesh checkup, the doctors told me that I should terminate the pregnancy. That pregnancy is not safe for me. I cannot conceive after two weeks of major surgery. I said I've been waiting for this pregnancy for long. I cannot terminate it. So for a month like that, they were telling me to terminate it. I could not terminate it. So I ran away from that hospital. I ran to a center within Christian Church of God here. Yeah? I met with Dr. Olaomo, and he told me that there's nothing God cannot do. That with prayer, God will do it. And today, I'm holding the baby the Lord gave me for perfect jubilee confession. Davina, Isha Oluwa, Heri Mikpe, Bakari. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Princess Okon. I am from Ogun Province 18. I am here to give glory unto the Lord God Almighty for healing me of a heart disease. In 2021, after a series of tests, I was diagnosed of coronary artery disease, and the last test, CT coronary angiogram, confirmed that my arteries were blocked up to 70% and another one 53%. The, the cardiologist referred me to the surgeons, and the surgeons insisted that I must go for a surgery. But I know that I, I, I did not want to go for surgery because I know what that could entail. In the first place, I was asked to go for a test. The test alone would cost 700,000 naira. And then the, the, the surgery that will follow it, I, I was told they would go simultaneously, would cost 9 million naira. I know very well that there is no way I will be able to source for 9 million naira, and I told them so, but they insisted. Well, I said, I even begged them to prescribe drugs for me. They said they don't prescribe drugs. What they do is to operate on people. I said, well, it is not my own heart that will be operated upon. And I came to the, this uh, auditorium, during the con uh, convention of 2022, and I laid all the medical reports before my God, and I said, Father, please take control. Heal me, Lord, of every disease, this heart disease that has been diagnosed. It is not my portion. And God started his work on me. My pastor's wife also advised me that I should not play with the communion food. And since then, consistently, I have been having Holy Communion, and God began to do his work. Least, le months ago, I went back to the hospital. The first test, echocardiography, I was sure that everything is all right. I said, glory be to God. I repeated the main test, the CT coronary angiogram. And it indicates that I am free of every heart disease. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are is Pastor Israel and Falake Abayomi. I'm 59 years old and my husband is 62 years old. We waited on the Lord, believing him for our own child. And uh, early last year, the Lord came with his word from 1 Timothy 2.15. And he said to us that if you can continue 
in faith, in holiness, in charity, with self-control, that will be saved in childbearing. That word was an assurance that we will have our own child. But age was looking like it's impossible. But God came through when he, uh, he came through that geo into our bedroom and gave my husband some seeds to eat. He collected the seed from daddy, he ate it and also gave me to eat. Afterwards, I had an encounter with Mommy Gio and Daddy Gio at the 25th anniversary of um, RHS. I saw a leftover, I was able to lay hold on the leftover water of Mommy Gio. And I took that water with me home. I used this as the Holy Spirit directed me. And we, I also sat on the chairs that the two of them sat on. And that night, I had an, a revelation. I saw the two of them on a lonely road. I ran to them and daddy said, what is the problem? And I said to him, I want my own children. Mommy was the one that answered me. She said, is it because of children that you are running about like this? Go to that place and go and carry your children like other women do. <laughs> Hallelujah. On the strength of those revelations, and the word that God gave to us, we took a step towards IVF procedure. And I went to the IVF clinic. They told us that how old are you? I said I was 58. They said, no, we don't do anything beyond 55. So we can't do it. I came back at the Holy Ghost following that the Jews said, there is someone here. God said he has removed five years from your age. <laughs> Hallelujah. And my husband looked at me and said, you are no longer 58, you are now 53. With that confidence, I went back to them. I said, I'm no longer 58, I'm 55, uh, 53. The doctor smiled, but he went ahead because God was involved. He went ahead, I took him. And I carried pregnancy to full time. No sickness, no disease, no disturbance all through the nine months. And I delivered safely. On the 16th of February this year, I gave back to this boy, Abraham Fitila Olua. Abraham Fitila Olua. Eri Fe Olua. Oluwa follow Jimmy. Oluwa shanu for me. Oluwa roti me. Abai on me. Who did it? Thank you, Jesus. For all you have done for Hallelujah. We are grateful. Oh. To the one who gave after 16 years, to the one who gave at 58, to the one who healed the heart, to the one who removed cancer, let's give God praise, let's give God all the adoration, let's give him all the thanks, let's give him all the honor, let's give it back to God, let's give God all the glory. Father, we say thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. You are next in line for a miracle.